I have the Google Pixel 7 Pro here, and yesterday I did a video showing you all how to install the latest version of Lineage OS on it. The team behind the ROM continues to add more devices to their roster list, and this means more and more people are going to be installing it. So today I want to show you how I gain root access to this ROM using the latest version of Majisk. Back before version 17 of Lineage OS, the team had offered its own super user add-on that could be installed via the custom recovery that they offered. But this changed back in 2019, which made Majisk the go-to choice for rooting Lineage OS. The first step we want to do is boot the smartphone into what is known as recovery mode. There are a couple of ways this can be done. Firstly, you can use the button combination while the phone boots up. This is different for various devices, so you'll want to do a Google search if that is your preferred method. You could also boot into fast boot mode first, also known as bootloader mode, and then reboot over into recovery mode from that menu or you could even enable USB debugging mode and then execute the command ADB space reboot space recovery from a terminal window while the phone is connected to a PC with a USB cable. But we can also enable the advanced restart toggle from within Lineage OS 20. You can find that by going into the settings application searching for the word advanced and then you should see advanced restart in those results. Once, Once that toggle has been enabled you will be given some additional options within the power menu after selecting the restart option. So from here we can easily reboot into recovery mode by tapping that recovery button in the power menu. It doesn't matter which method you go with, you're going to be taken to the custom Lineage OS recovery anyway. So just like when installing Lineage OS, we need to enable ADB sideload mode. So let's tap on the apply update option and then select apply from ADB. Now you can see that we are able to sideload a file here. So let's connect the phone to the PC with the USB cable and then open up a command prompt, Windows PowerShell, or a terminal window within the same folder as your ADB and Fastboot tools. Now we're going to need to download the latest version of Majisk. So let's go to the official GitHub page and download the latest stable version. I'll be including the link to this GitHub page down in the video description below so everyone can get the official version right there. After you download this file, you should notice that it is an APK file and that isn't what is normally installed via a custom recovery on Android. If you wanted to, you could rename this file so that it is a .zip file instead of a .apk file, but that usually isn't needed. In this case, we can actually flash the APK file in the Lineage OS recovery, just like we could if it were a zip file. Just be sure that you save this Majisk file in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools so it can be flashed to our Lineage OS smartphone. Now remember, we have our phone in ADB sideload mode. It is connected to the PC with a USB cable and it is ready to receive a file. So let's open up a command prompt, 
within the same folder as our Magisk and ADB tools. And then we're going to type out the command ADB space sideload space. And then let's begin typing out the name of that file. You should only have to type a few letters out before pressing the tab button and it should autocomplete the rest of that file name. With the command adb space sideload and then the magisk file name typed out, we can press enter on the keyboard. After we press enter on the keyboard, that file is going to be sent to our phone and we're going to see this message talking about signature verification failed. This is normal and we're going to tap yes to continue with this installation. Since Magisk is not built by the same team that creates this ROM, that is why we're seeing that message about signature verification. Just tell it to install anyway, and it will go through the installation process, and you should not see any errors at all in this output. Once you see done and the installation has completed, you're going to be brought back to the main screen of the Lineage OS recovery. We're going to tap the reboot system now option to tell the smartphone to reboot back into Android. From here, we can go ahead and unplug that USB cable since it is no longer needed. And as the phone boots back up, the first thing you're going to want to look for is the Magisk icon from within your app drawer. If it is not there, then you can install the APK manually on the device, again download it from GitHub, but you're likely going to see this icon right here which doesn't look like the Magisk icon because it's actually a stub of the app. If you see this, go ahead and open it up and you're going to be told that Magisk needs to upgrade to the full version. So we're going to go ahead and tap on OK. It's going to grab that actual APK file it's going to install it, update it on its own. You're going to see that application icon change to what you're more familiar with. And now we can see that the additional steps are needed. So let's go ahead and tap on OK. And we're going to let the phone reboot so that Magisk can be completely installed. The reboot back into Android should be like normal. It should not take an extended amount of time. You can see it's going to take us right back into Android very quickly. So now we can open up the Magisk application again. Look in this top section to find out which version of Magisk is installed. Since we downloaded version 25.2, it makes sense that that is the version that is currently installed. As long as you see that, instead of it telling you NA for the installed version, 
then you are already finished and have successfully rooted the phone. We can confirm this by downloading and installing a root checker application from the Google Play Store. When we open it up, all we have to do is tap verify root and that should give us the Magisk prompt to grant this, ac this application root access. As you can see, we have completed the root process for this install of Lineage OS. Side loading Magisk, like I just showed you, is something that I do after I finish installing the latest over the air update from the Lineage OS team. These updates usually go out weekly, and after the new update is installed, I always reboot over into recovery mode and manually sideload Magisk, just like I showed you. This keeps your phone up to date, it maintains root access, and doesn't wipe or erase any of your personal data from the device at all. So if you have any questions or comments about this process, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll respond as soon as I have time.